Hello Cancer and welcome to Coleman Tarot. My name is H.E. Coleman. This is going to be your reading for the month of February. <coughs> and also there is a, um, a windstorm outside my window, so if you hear any noises, that's what it is, probably. Here we go. Okay, Cancer. start the month. Haha, <laughs> you can tell it's this one. It's really, really hot. Okay, here we go. This is so far. Oh my gosh. Okay. <clears throat> this is hilarious. Okay. Alright. This is your pathway. These are the things that are that you're going to meet along the way. This is your obstacle, and this is your outcome, and these are the things that are hidden from you. I just want to say one thing. I started doing this video for you before, and it, it was it, the video got it got wrecked and it got ruined, and then I was just like, okay, well everything happens for a reason. So I meditated and I did it, and I'm doing it now. This was the same outcome that you had before. Now. You're starting out the month with um, wishes coming true, which is awesome. Wishes coming true. Okay? So if there's something that you've been looking forward to, something that you really wanted to get, something that you really um, have been thinking about, um, you're going to get a wish coming true. Um, and it's also uh, a card about hope and optimism. So if you've been feeling like you're, you're not really sure what's happening with the future, it's a card of hope. And it's a card about... Um, if you're feeling sick, it's a card about um, getting better, renewed health, things like that. It's just a really wonderful positive card to get. The other thing that you're getting is good news. Good news of an emotional nature. The, the cups are about fulfillment and um, um, happiness. And she's really happy that she has this fish in her cup. She's so happy she's crying, like there's tears of joy. So um, good news and a wish coming true. That's awesome. Then over here you have fears and doubts. <clears throat> what this is about is um, if somebody, the sword is um, like a disappointment, swords can be like a disappointment or um, the queen of swords is about like somebody being harshly honest, but this has like nine swords in it. So really it's an exaggeration. It's, it's somebody who has cut you, like somebody said something or done something to cut you or make you have fear or doubt and you're just blowing it up in your mind. You're making it way worse than it actually was or way worse than it actually is. And you're just allowing your imagination to like run wild with like fears and doubts. You know, like if one little thing happens, you're blowing it up in your mind. But it's ridiculous because you have a wish coming true and you have good news. So you don't need to be having any fears or self-doubts about things like that. Now, in the middle of your month, you have this, which is the king of wands. Wands are about passion, projects, work. Okay, and you're the king. So that what that means is that you're being really creative. You're you're, you're thinking outside of the box. You're um, you're taking an idea, which is crazy, maybe even. This he's got an iguana on his shoulder. He's taking an idea that most people don't really take seriously, and he is really running with it and making it successful. So that's what thinking outside the box is. It's like you're taking an idea that nobody really thought of before, and you're you're turning it into a success. It's a great card for um, business, especially about the wishes coming true. It's a great card for um, for business, for projects, for hobbies that you care about. <coughs> it's saying that you're um, going to be successful. You're having a successful time. The things that are um, helping or hindering you are, first of all, having a lot of choices. You kind of need to pick something. Here you have good news of an emotional nature with one cup. Here you have seven cups. So you kind of need to just choose one. Um, or even a couple and and make those uh, 
allow those to fulfill you without trying to do everything, without trying to like choose everything. Just choose one or two things at a time to make you happy. The other card is this, which is a great card to have if you want to make progress because it's a card about you spending time by yourself, going over your goals, going over, um, just like spending a little bit of time out of the rat race where you're just kind of like thinking about what it is that you really want out of life. You're kind of like going off by yourself, going off into nature and really thinking about what it is that you want. And it might be that people have hurt your feelings and that's why you're going off by yourself. But um, <coughs> that's okay too because when you go off by yourself, you realize that people are just people and they're just going to say stuff or do stuff or whatever or you could have fears or doubts. And not, when you go off by yourself, especially in nature, you realize that none of those things really matter. You, you're fine. You just go off into nature and you just say, look at that tree, look at that rock. And you don't really think about all these fears and doubts that you might have. So good for you. Go off in nature and uh, if people are bugging you, get away from them for a bit. And then you'll put things in perspective, you know, realize what's really important. All right. Your obstacle is this, which is fantasizing and daydreaming about money. Okay. Or wondering why your money's not there or wondering why you don't have what everybody else has. But you're, you're doing good, though. You're doing better and you're, you're, you're doing fine. So you don't need to be jealous of other people. <coughs> Your outcome is this, the Hierophant again. The Hierophant is about seeking guidance, getting guidance from others, whether it's the universe, whether it's God, your religion, whether it's your spiritual side, whether it's a mentor, look for guidance from others. Okay. And that's kind of what this is too. Like you're going off into nature, you're going off by yourself and you're just saying, you know, like, I want to look at the big picture. I want to, I want to look at what, what I want out of life, what I want out of this situation, what I want out of my business, what I want, like, what are my dreams and hopes? What are my wishes? Okay. And also just getting away from, getting away from fear and doubt. All your other cards this month are good. It's just that you're, you have fears and doubts because you're looking at what other people have and you're saying, why don't I have that? And you shouldn't be doing that. You should be focusing on what you want and what are your goals and what is your purpose and what do you want to accomplish and who is going to guide you through that process. Okay. Now, these are the things that are hidden from you. The moon. Now, if you look at this, you have the stars and then you have the moon. You're kind of in a situation where you can't really see what's coming and you're making wishes and dreams, but you're kind of also at the same time, like nighttime is the time to make wishes and dreams. It's the time when wishes and dreams come true, but also nighttime is scary because it's dark and you don't really know where you're going. Uh, this card, the moon card is saying that you're going to be guided through the darkness. You're going to be, um, and that's the same thing with the mentor. You're going to be guided through the darkness. Sorry, my dog barked again. It's about it's about you um, trusting your instinct, trusting your instinct to get through the darkness. And if you can't see what's coming, it's okay, because you're you're going to be able to to get through it. You're being guided first of all, and secondly, your your instincts are good, so you're going to be able to get through the darkness on your own, even if you weren't being guided. But you are being guided. The other things that are hidden from you are the uh, the Knight of Wands. And you're the king of wands. <laughs> you're the king of wands. So the knight of wands is like a hero who has a lot of energy that is coming in to save the day with enthusiasm and excitement. Wands are about passion, action, bravery, um, just being excited and being passionate about something. And he's coming in, could also be a girl in there, but he's coming in and uh, uh, just kind of like, bring in the enthusiasm, bring in the excitement, bring in the passion. The other thing that is hidden from you is this, which is a lot of fulfillment. And it looks very similar to this, where you're here, you're daydreaming and wondering where the money is and wondering why you can't have what other people are having. And here you are um, being very fulfilled or daydreaming about being fulfilled. But you also have the wishes coming true card. So it's a lot about you um, wishing for things, um, dreaming of things and really um, wanting things. And here you're wondering why you don't have things or you're being maybe jealous of other people who don't have things. Or maybe you're just like, well, the money's going to come here, but it's not here yet. But this is saying that you need to be finding um, guidance. You need to be guided. 
you need to be finding a mentor or someone or something that is going to help you. It's going to help you through this because you have a lot of good things coming. You have like the wish, you have the good news, you have the success here and you have someone coming in to help you and you have fulfillment. So a lot of that is going to stem from you finding a teacher or finding, um, looking at your purpose, looking at things that are outside of, of just you trying to do everything yourself. You're going to need some guidance, whether that's religious guidance, whether that's spiritual guidance, whether it's a mentor, whether it's just going online and f finding out how things work and doing them yourself, but, but looking at other people to teach you how things work. You're going to need some guidance and that's going to help you a big time. Okay, now I'm going to give you the fate card for the month, which is love and true fidelity. True love and fidelity, sorry. True love and fidelity. Awesome. True love. Excellent. Okay, then I'm going to give you a spiritual card for the month. <laughs> hmm. Okay, I'm getting this card a lot. Father, husband, brother, son. Father, husband, brother, son. This card's come up three times. <coughs> so I really want you to take a look at those people in your life and see if they need to be rescued. See if maybe you're the one who's going to be rescuing them. Maybe they need some help and they're not telling you. They're not telling you that they need help. Okay? Look at these people in your life and see if they need help or see if they're going to be the ones that are going to be guiding you and mentoring you. Now, the last thing I'm going to do is every month I get a new deck of cards so I can share with you. This month I was given this as a gift uh, by my ex-husband who is a wonderful person. He gave me this for my birthday because I'm a Capricorn. So uh, I had this for my birthday last month and now I'm going to share it with you. Okay, and it is the Salvador Dali deck. It's very beautiful. It has a lot of art from Salvador Dali and other artists. Okay, I'm going to get three cards. What else do you need to know this month? What else do you need to know this month? My little guy's over there. What else do you need to know this month? I'm gonna get, oh, there are four cards. I was only at three. Okay, what else do you need to know this month? Initial success. Excellent. Success. Again with the rods. Okay. And then we also have for you the star card. The star card again. So you got wishes coming true. You definitely have some kind of wish coming true. Um, hope for the future. You've got the star card twice. I don't know if that means like a really big wish coming true or two wishes coming true. But you have the success here too. So if you're hoping for success, you've got the, um, <coughs> the king of wands, which is a big success card. And then you have this card. Uh, the other things that you have are the High Priest. This is the Hierophant again. The High Priest. The Hierophant. So with guidance, really, you're really going to have, you have the Star card twice and you have the Hierophant card twice, which is so unlikely to have even one of them twice, but you have both of them twice. So this is a really big message. The star card is about um, a wish coming true from the universe, and the Hierophant card is about either religion, God, or um, a mentor. So really, really it's about guidance and wishes coming true and something coming to you from the universe. The other card that you have is the Heartache card, the Three of Swords. So here you have the Three of Wands, which is a a success and here you have the three of um, the three of swords which is about heartache but you also have love and fidelity so if you have if you end up having a fight with somebody it looks like there's not really a breakup because you still have love and fidelity you have the heart you have here the heart card and here the heart um, being stabbed with, with three swords so you will have a little bit of each side you have this which is either fighting or um, some kind of heartache. And then you have this, which is true love. So you got both of those. Now, that is really, really, really interesting. You have two of the higher fan cards, two of them. So it's really important for you to find this mentor or for it's really important for you to find guidance. 
and now I had a phone call. So all I want to say is the last card that I want to talk about is just this, which is your outcome. Your outcome is the higher fan twice. So it's really important for you to find that guidance. And you also have two of the star cards, which is which is coming true. So let me know in the comments what your wish was and what what happened and how things are going. Um, and have a great month. Okay, bye.